we have a corollary let g be an open set and f from g to c an analytic function if gamma is a closed rectifiable curve in g such that n of gamma w equal to zero for all w in c minus g then for a in g minus trace of gamma f k of a into n of gamma a equal to k factorial by 2 pi i into interval over gamma f of z dz by z minus a all raised to k plus 1. That is we have given an open set g and an analytic function defined on g. Gamma is a closed rectifiable curve in g such that the index of gamma with respect to any point w in g complement is 0. Then for any a belongs to g minus trace of gamma, we have an equation including the kth derivative of f at a. We have the general result that is if n of gamma 1 w plus n of gamma 2 w plus etc plus n of gamma m w equal to 0 then f k of a sigma j equal to 1 to m n of gamma j a equal to k factorial into sigma j equal to 1 to m 1 by 2 pi i interval over gamma j f of z dz divided by z minus a all raised to k plus 1. This is the general result. So it is true for any gamma j. So we consider a single gamma j that is gamma. For applying this result for a single curve gamma we have there is no sigma. Sigma and double. And the end cell of sigma and double. Gamma j is replaced by gamma. Then we get f k of a into n of gamma a equal to k factorial divided by 2 pi i in the lower gamma f of z dz divided by z minus a all raised to k plus 1. This is the given result in the corollary. This result is used for finding this integral in the lower gamma f of z dz divided by z minus a all raised to k plus 1 that is equal to 2 pi i into k 2 pi i by k factorial into f k of a into n of gamma i. We have a question. We have given gamma of t equal to 1 plus e raised to i t for 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 pi. We have to find the interval over gamma f of z dz divided by sorry we have to find interval over gamma z by z minus 1 whole raised to n dz. So here we have given gamma of t equal to 1 plus a raised to i t 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 pi. Gamma is a closed, uh, here gamma is a, equation of gamma is a circle. That is with the center 1 and radius 1. Center 1 and radius 1. That is the equation is like mod z minus 1 equal to 1. So, we have n of gamma 1. Index number of gamma the circle with, re, uh, with respect to the point 1. 1 is the center and 1 is the radius. Here is 0, this 2. So, this is gamma. N of gamma 1 equal to circle no little point in the winding number with respect to circle no remember like 1 I give. Any by equation? Kandalu? Namkad 1 and the two. So, N of gamma 1 equal to 1. No? And we have the result f k of a into n of gamma a. The, from the last corollary we have k factorial by 2 pi i interval over gamma 
f of z dz divided by z minus a all raised to k plus 1. So we have to find this integral. That is integral over gamma f of z dz divided by z minus a all raised to k plus 1 equal to 2 pi i by k factorial into f k of a into n of gamma a. Here we have to find first we have to find a and the question you have to find integral over gamma z by z minus 1 whole raised to n dz that's equal to integral over gamma z raised to n dz by z minus 1 whole raised to n so by comparing this we get z minus a means z minus 1 no? that is a equal to 1 no? and f of z equal to z raised to n dz in the good over f of z z raised to n on f of z and the goal k plus 1 in the k plus 1 e power z minus a power that is z minus 1 in the power n on so we get k equal to n minus 1 and n of gamma a equal to n of gamma 1 on that is equal to we have that's equal to 1 index number of a circle with respect to the point 1 therefore we have to find the integral that is integral over gamma z raised to n dz divided by z minus 1 all raised to n equal to by definition 2 pi i by k factorial means n minus 1 factorial into fk means f fn minus 1 of 1 into in n of gamma 1 means 1 now we have to find the n minus 1 to the derivative of f of z we have f of z equal to z raised to n so f dash of z equal to n into z raised to n minus 1 f double dash of z equal to n into n minus 1 into z raised to n minus 2 etc thus we get the n minus 1 to the derivative we have to find the n minus 1 to the derivative f n minus 1 of z equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc n minus n minus 2 into z raised to n minus n minus 1 Okay, that is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. into 2 into z raised to 1 and 2. That can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. 2 into 1 into z. But into 1 and we'll extra add as multiply in the 1 on to multiply in the value at the same level. So this is n factorial n factorial into z this is fn minus 1 of z we have to find fn minus 1 of a that is fn minus 1 of 1 that's equal to n factorial into 1 that's equal to n factorial so the integral integral over gamma z raised to n dz divided by z minus 1 all raised to n equal to 2 pi i by n minus 1 factorial into n factorial into 1 so these are cancelled by and remaining n is remaining 2 n pi i so we get in the lower gamma z by z minus 1 all raised to n dz equal to 2 n pi i thank you